Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a very quick video just addressing something that happened recently. Now we all know about the Null Star nerf and the Neutron Star nerf, but I'm here to tell you that actually it's fine. Genuinely, it's fine. It's just that the line of sight is a bit of a pain in the ass when it comes to leveling up and, you know, doing nuke builds like I've done with my Titania. However, when I say that this Titania build for nuke is perfectly fine, I mean it's perfectly fine. All that's happened is that the range has been reduced to 17.4 meters. As you can see here now, if you had to do the Thermal Sun Division, look. 17.4 meters it's the same bull but of course different mods at the same range and everything like that so all that's happened is that it just has slightly reduced range it still works okay and if i had to show you and hop in i will show you now but this build works perfectly fine for doing nuke builds for fishes and doing loot I also made a video on how to farm the open worlds for a lot of resources because this ability still breaks crates which is really amazing but if you want to actually just make a pure farming build for that you would just basically stack a whole bunch of efficiency and a whole bunch of range and duration maybe some duration as well because her fourth also stacks up duration you will be able to still do that yes you do have to go up to the crates now which kind of sucks but it's fine we can deal with what we have but i'm just here to say that it's actually not that nerfed so if i go in and just hop in very very quickly for you and let's just say I'll go and do Uko or something. Or I can do Oxomoko. So we can do this one just so we can test it out and see how it goes. Yes, technically speaking for leveling, it is kind of nerfed because you can't actually shoot them through the walls. Oh, sorry. Use the ability and I can't seek through the walls. But it's fine. When it comes to doing the leveling method, you're basically just going to have to pretty much just move around. That's all. It's just more inconvenient. But otherwise, in terms of the ability, the damage is the same. The range is still fine. It's just that you can't, you know, kill everything. You see, the whole idea with Titania is that she is a frame that is used to get line of sight, if that makes sense. So, as you can see, it's perfectly fine. Yes, you're not going to shoot them through the walls, but it's fine. And it's killing them fast enough. The damage is the same. Yes, they did do that one thing where like the first few meters it doesn't explode on them and stuff like that, but it's honestly not that bad. I just went through it too fast, but uh... also a great way to farm on crystals if you want. There you go. Done. Super easy. One minute, seven seconds. This is the same when it comes to doing fishes. It's fast. And I got a P9 medic. That's pretty nice. Alright, so I'm going to hop into Tanksha Onsel very, very quickly just to test this to see if it is actually nerfed. Now, remember, the thing that sucks about this is the fact that the line of sight got nerfed, which means you can't sit in the middle of Tanksha Onsel and just spam your ability that much anymore because, well, it's just not going to work, which is fine. Uh, we are kind of used to that in some senses in Warframe, and of course we are used to maybe something like, for example, the Vault Build that works as well. But I guess you could just do this. I mean, it depends on the tile set. Yes, truly. I mean, this is infested, so this is probably the worst example to do this. All right, so that was pretty much like the one tile set that doesn't stress test what I'm talking about. So let's see if the next one is better. And it is all right. Okay, there is more, you know, but it's still open. The point is, is that there are going to be some tile sets that are going to be absolutely terrible for this in terms of, you know, the design because of line of sight. But if you constantly just move around, it should be perfectly fine and it's not completely no. I'm still killing things super fast. Everything's good. It's just more inconvenient because you're going to have to run around and go and, you know, look at them. But otherwise, yeah. And there we go. Max rank. So yeah guys, if you want to do a very nice nuke build, then follow this one right here. If you want the Thermal Sunder version, here we go. You can just try. I'm not going to go over it because I've made so many videos on this already. But for those of you that are watching this for the first time, here are the builds. If you want to do Thermal Sunder version, you do this. You subsume it. The reason why I still say that Null Star actually is slightly better is A, you can cast it faster and apply more heat procs. And B, it is a slightly easier subsumed to get than gauss because gauss is kind of a pain to farm and nova is quite easy to get early on in the game so for those of you who just got your home segment just got titania 
you'll be able to use Null Star quite easily. However, it does require two extra augments, but that should be fine and so on so that is it that is all you need to know and remember like i said if you want to do a specific loot farming so you want to run around and break crates with titania which is brilliant because she's fast she moves around and she's great like i said for getting line of sight then just stack on range more than usual efficiency and duration and just go and kill crates you'll be good to go that's all you need to know and that is all for this video guys thank you so much for watching go and have fun with the null star it's still fine i had to make this video because a lot of people were messaging me and commenting my video saying it's nerfed and all that stuff so here we are thank you so much for watching hit that like button subscribe 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 bye bye bye